ride coming through. Yeah, a little bit quieter, please. Hangover coming through. Oh. A coffee? Yeah, go on then. Uh, just came to pick up the bunting for the pub if it's ready. And to see how I got on with the bank. Man, that obvious. Well, I got shunted from the helpline that gave me no help. The customer services, they gave me no service. Then to the loans department, who failed to give me a loan. Hmm. Probably did you a favour. I mean, co-owning a pub with some random stranger. Well, better than a random stranger owning the old caboodle, isn't it? I'm surprised the bank wouldn't give you out. I mean, you'd think you'd be a safe bet. Oh, well, I am. If I'd been talking to a grown-up than some... 12-year-old kid with a tick box questionnaire. Practically wanted to make kidneys as security. Oh well, thanks for trying. Oh no, 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 it's not over yet. I've got a showdown with a head honcho. I've got a bank manager's appointment on Monday. Oh well, that'll be too late, I'm afraid. Liz is going to the solicitors later to sign up. Today? Why couldn't you wait until after the wedding? Mm. Well, that's the least of our worries, mate. Best man's gone whale watching. I'm sorry. Don't ask. Oh, blimey. Look at this place. Anybody think it get used for proper events, such as christenings, weddings and wakes? Yeah, there will be wakes, putting all this lot up. Wakes are good for business, people drink more. Actually, maybe that's just me. Maybe we should just stick to weddings and christenings. We? Yes, we, you being the manager, SD, being the landlord, and me being the investor whose bank's just said, yes, Mrs. Connor, of course, Mrs. Connor. I'm sorry our call centre didn't bat your hand off. <laughs> That's amazing. <gasps> Hang on a minute, though. Liz is already there signing the paperwork. What time's the appointment? I don't know. Oh. Voicemail. Well, come on. Well, hang on, what about the bar? Sean? Yeah, I'll ring Sean. Yeah. Liz, wait! What are you doing here? We need to get a shift on the clothes in a minute, come on. Carla, tell him. No, you. Come on. Well, one of you tell us. Carla wants to buy in. Well, you don't You don't need to sell to this Travis fellow. What? Well, you'll have to get your solicitor to agree to the terms and conditions, but, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to put some money in. Why not? It's crazy. You can't just put money into a business you've no experience of. Oh, is that right? Why, how many pawn shops had you run before throwing your lot in with Tracy? Why aren't you pleased? I mean, it could solve everything. Because, uh, if things go wrong, it's Carla's neck on the line. Oh, don't worry, I'm not as green as I am cabbage-looking, love. Anyway, you shall keep me in touch with what's going on, won't you? Yeah, but this deal with Travis is already to go. Yeah, but why is it better for a complete stranger to buy the pub than someone we know? OK, so what are your plans? You tell us what you've got in mind, Carla. OK. Hey! You know, the fact is, from where I'm sitting, every glass that I drink in here is putting money back into my own pockets. What's not to love about that? Plus, you get a staff discount. Mm. No, what, won't that be eaten into my profits? Oh, yeah, because you're doing this purely for selfish reasons, of course. Of course. Yeah, not because you're the bestest friend in all the world. Has somebody spiked your drinks? Oh, no. It's out of the wedding box, eh? And there's plenty more. Mm. Seriously, though, babe, thank you. We stop it? Just leave it alone. Just crack up another bottle, will you? On the house. Oh, am I allowed to say that? Today, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> hey, can I tell Steve? Of course you can. Hey, take him a glass. Take him that bottle. Mm. <laughs> Stay to her. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. Uh, for all you know, Liz, I'm going to chuck the lot of you out. Stage an aggressive takeover, I think. What? And have to pour your own drinks? Good point, Barnett. Mm. Oh, are these for the wedding? Mm. Shouldn't you be asking the bride to be? Where is she? Ah, last scene, hiding in the bathroom with a dress while Steve packs his knapsack. Knapsack? Why, where's he sleeping tonight? Oh. He was meant to be stopping at Lloyd's. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's not staying there all night on his own with her. No. Steve, get ready here. Michelle's coming to me. 
I know all about the night before weddings. Anything can go wrong. Yep. We're in charge of taking the risk out, right? Right. Right. Ah, here you are. When I was young. Uh, oh. <laughs> Never need anyone. Michelle's now just brought this down and all. Oh, well, she's had it. I'm not doing another trip. Next time I go out there in that. I'm escorting her over. You are a star, you know that, don't you? Huh? Bailing Steve out, getting the bride all organised. Where the fields Wonder Woman. Yeah. Come stick a fit. You do actually look a bit like Wonder Woman. You don't dress up in a bath for you when nobody's looking. When nobody's looking, Liz. I'm in trekky bottoms and a scrunchie, trust me. And if I was Wonder Woman, I'd be the one heading to Spain, not you. Nobody. Tony is trying to get me to go now. Said we shouldn't wait. He just wants to be there. Now, though, I mean, you missed Steve's wedding. Exactly. Oh, he's just been romantic. Oh. Hey, you'll never guess what I thought earlier outside the solicitor's office. Oh, I felt right, Divi. What? Well, he said there was something I'd just got to do. And then starts digging around in his pocket, so I thought, he's going to propose. Mm -hmm. well, what would you have said? Who knows? Wait for it to happen. We'll see. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we were right, you know. Steve so would not have been okay at hers tonight. No way, Jose. Right, come on, Andrea. You need to get off home. We have got a wedding to prepare for. You do travel light, missus. I've already had two trips. I'm oh, sorry. Should have waited. I'd have carried them. What, and risk breaking a nail? Well, thank you. Mm. Can't believe it's raining. Yeah, it is. But don't worry, it'll be gorgeous tomorrow. Come on, beauty sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, darling. Mm. Bye. Oh, hang on. Oh, you need to stop stuff. Uh, Come on, we'll save that for tomorrow. Yeah. I love you. Mm. I hope that's from Steve. It better be. <laughs> See you in the morning. Sometimes I feel I've got to uh, uh, run away. I've got to uh, uh, get away. The pain you drive into. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm gonna have to get you a. Old lady rain hat and quacky mat tomorrow. You've done enough for me, thanks. No, oh, it's rubbish that. I'm taking the maid from Rodney's job description to buy the bridal pub. It's usually a drink, babe. <laughs> right, you covered. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>